The world is full of questions just now. Perhaps the first questions that we want answered are all to do with the coronavirus. What are we allowed to do? How long will these rules last? When will we get out? What will happen if I or my loved ones catch it? The virus is just one threat amongst many. How can we journey through life and be safe? The church invites people to follow Jesus because that's what Jesus invited his disciples to do. As John said earlier, a disciple is a learner. They look to the teacher to train them how to do everything the teacher can do. That's what Jesus invites us all to do, to live the way he lived. That doesn't just mean being good. It means learning how to teach and train others to live the way Jesus lived. Jesus set people free to do what God called them to do. Free from rules, free from condemnation, free from guilt when we get it wrong, freedom to start again. Jesus trained his disciples to be apostles, to be sent out. Of course, some learned better than others. Some were limited by their family circumstances. But actually, everyone is able to go somewhere. Most of us just want to stay where we are. It's easier. If we go somewhere, something might happen. That's why we're all in lockdown just now. It's risky to go outside. We might die or cause someone else to die just by breathing. But society enables us to go out while still staying in. We can write a letter or pick up the phone or send an email or make a video call. We don't have to go far to find someone else to teach and train to live the way Jesus lived. But are we ready? We don't know for how long Jesus taught his disciples before he sent them out sent them out to demonstrate that the kingdom of God was nearer than people thought. Luke's book is 24 chapters long, and the 72 get sent out in chapter 10. The timeline is not straightforward. But Jesus only started teaching his disciples three years before he was crucified and rose from the tomb. Jesus didn't have time to teach them everything. He just got enough to get them started. And then he sent them out to start putting it into practice. The church has often given the impression that you're not allowed in unless you're perfect. Yet Jesus sent the disciples out. He made them apostles while they were still learning. They were still learning when Jesus left them and sent the Holy Spirit to lead them onwards. Don't ever think that you're not good enough for God. Don't ever think you're not ready to be sent out. Instead, listen for God, because he is calling you to come. And if you're already with him, then be ready to get sent, even if it's only to your next door neighbour. Amen.